right, welcome back. And we're going to get into a little bit of our bread and butter here on the Dairy Raid. And we're going to break down a player. And we're going to break down a player who is going to have a complicated legacy at Wisconsin. No doubt about it, Braylon Allen was one of the most exciting players that we've had in this, in Wisconsin over the last few years. He is a throwback to an era that is slowly fading away in college football. Um, and he did it with an Adonis body being so young, so powerful. And yet, with all the superlatives that have come with his gain, he never quite took us to that next level that the other running backs in the pantheon of Wisconsin running backs has done. And I'm going to talk about some of those things, uh, the positives and the negatives, and look at Braylon Allen as a NFL prospect and where what I think he looks like going into the, sec the next level of his career. All right, so here we are. We're gonna be, we're just gonna be watching film. So what I've done here is I've gone through most of the games this year. I don't still have all the games loaded up in Huddle. Uh, you have limited space in Huddle. So, uh, but I've got most of them, and I've broken down. We're gonna look at some of his runs, uh, him catching the ball, him blocking, and we're gonna kind of work our way through and talk about some of the coaching or some of the talking points that come with Braylon Allen's. NFL draft stock. All right. And again, we're just going to kind of cycle through these and we are going to see how it goes. All right. So here we are. This is against Illinois. And we're going to start here. First, this first group of plays are all going to be just him running the ball. So what I really like about Braylon is he has great balance. This is something that I think is over underrated in his game. For as big of a body as he is, he's able to keep his feet churning and then get going again really fast. He doesn't have the world's greatest top-end speed, but his zero to workable speed acceleration is quite good. And you see it right here. His shoulders are pointing upfield the whole time. He turns his legs. I really like seeing that. Okay, again, from Illinois. So here we're going to see the burst, and here's when Braylon's on, he does a really good job of getting his pad level down, and this is something we don't always see because, he's a, again, he's a big body. He's got to dig these defenders out who are getting low. Zero's get low. He's got to get our zero's got to get lower, and that's exactly what he does there. Keeps the feet churning. Okay, here we go from Iowa. Again, nice burst. I, again, he's a great one-cut running back. You know, we don't want him to be dancing in the backfield. We want to get him working, have him plant his foot in the ground, and get vertical, and then get low. This is where he's going to thrive, and why he can work in space. Okay, next up again from Iowa. Again, working, 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 finding space. Finding work, planning his foot. Okay, outside zone. I want to work for width, get those linebackers to disappear and get going. Again, grinding the feet. This is Braylon when he's healthy. Up getting his pad level down and maintaining his balance. Okay, now here we're gonna talk about one of the things that maybe he struggles with is what this play is here and what it leads to. So short yard situation, everyone knows he's getting the ball. Working outside, he's got it. He's got to put his foot in the ground and what he ends up doing is he gets a little bit of a hesitation and for a big body, he gets, gets himself rocked. You can't do this. I don't care how good Castro is. He's a kamikaze, but you got to hold on to the football. And then what ends up happening is 
this leads to one of the myriad of injuries that he ends up getting. You know, and what I mean by that is, you know, we talk about Ches Malusi being injury prone. Well, Ches Malusi, I believe, was injury unlucky. You know, he ended his seasons on broken bones and torn ligaments. Braylon Allen, it always seems that he would have multiple games a season where he'd have some nagging injury that, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, made it look like he lacked effort after that point. I don't think he lacked effort. I think he was injured, but he got injured a lot. So a lot of times he was out there maybe when he shouldn't. And maybe the coaching staff was giving him more carries than he should have. Now, he gutted it out in games like the Nebraska game, so you know he cares, so I'm not disparaging his character at all. But what I am saying is with the type of body he is and the way he runs and how big he is, he is going to be a magnet for contact. And he has shown that the contact adds up. And for as young as everyone's going to say he is, he has taken a lot of hits. And it's something that NFL coaches are going to be taking an eye at or a look at because he's a player who 10 years ago would be your 30 carry a game feature back. I don't know if he can handle that week in and week out. He does it when he has to, but it's something that he needs to build on and he needs to get maybe a little bit more functional strength. Um, he's big and strong, but he's got to find a way to, to take those hits a little bit better and then to stay on the football field. Take a look at Braylon Allen in the passing game. Well, we're just going to look at him with him catching the ball here to start. And, you know, I, I'm going to say here at the end a little preview when I talk about where I see him fitting in the NFL. He is going to be a first and second down back. He is going to be a short yardage, low red zone back. But he has shown, and he you know caught a lot of balls this year, that he has the ability to catch the football, and that he might have a role in in a more featured role if he can clean up some of the problems he has in his game later on. So here, you know, just catching a check down again, nothing there above it. Boom, get it out in space. And now again, this is the point in the. Georgia Southern game where he was a little dinged up. And you can see he really lacks burst coming out of that cut, which again is something that we need to keep an eye on. Okay, so here we go. Here we got him against Purdue. I'm getting a different opponent on this video for, for, for a change. And so here, I'm going to see a play action. We're going to get him down the ball in the flat, and he does a good job turning the corner. He can catch the ball, and he can be a part of this kind of traffic play here where we're looking to clear space underneath by running the spot concept, and then he just comes out underneath and gets what he can. Then second and 17, make, making second and 17, you know, third and 10 is way better than this third and uh, 15. All right, moving on. So here we go against Rutgers. Got him on a little shovel pass here. And again, it's a different way of running the, 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 the stick draw like every team runs. But again, he shows good burst. Okay, and it just turns it into an extension of the running game. All right, here we got him on a swing out in space. You know, get the big body moving. Again, he can fall All right, the first. next thing we're going to look at is the area that he needs to improve that the most at the next level, and that is pass blocking. Is his pass protection. Uh, Braylon, no easy way to put this, for a guy his size and his strength is a below average pass blocker. And it's he struggles with technique. He struggles with, dare I say, effort. And it's something that he really needs to hone in on if he wants to developed to be anything more than a first and second down back. So we're going to take a look at some plays here and see what we can see. All right, so here we go, starting against Georgia Southern. Just going to get the play call in here real quick. I'm going to cut all that. 
that stuff out there in the middle. All right, flip in the back for the protection. Steps up. And again, this is, this is a theme. Now, this play didn't break down because of him. But this is the Braylon Allen throw shoulder at the guy pass block. Just boom. That's not going to win a battle against a better pass, pass rusher. And again, he's chipping. He's chipping with the guard. You know, when let's face it, he probably should have had six. All right, moving on. Here we got from Buffalo. And again, he's just throwing his body at the blitzer and not breaking down. Just throwing a shoulder. It's a really bad job. Okay, again from Buffalo. Okay, at least he got his hands up, but I'd like to see him attack the line of scrimmage a little bit more. He's just hanging too far back, and he lets that linebacker gather some speed. Okay, here we go against Rutgers. And as the season went on, he did get better. Now, I like that he steps up a little bit better. I like that he finishes a little bit more, but again, he's just throwing a shoulder instead of using his hands. You know, we need to see more than that. Okay, here we go against Minnesota. Now we're starting to get later in the year, and he did start to improve. Now, I guarantee when he came up and started making that decision to go to the next level that he needed to work on this, and this, this is better. Okay, so he steps up, he's got his eyes moving, and now he's using his hand and he's moving his feet. Again, not a great rep frame of everybody else, but he does his job. Okay, again from, from Minnesota. So this is a good job coming across field, breaking down, closing the distance. Okay, now his guy didn't keep coming, but he's in good position to take him if he did. That, that is an improvement. Okay, Illinois, another game that he did better at. Okay, this is a good rep right here. He steps up. Pressure comes outside, readjusts. Now he starts throwing a shoulder, but he gets his hands up and he's able to finish. That's a defensive lineman. So that is an improvement. We'll look at one more here. Okay, stepping up. That is a great rep. Okay, low. Moving his feet, using his hands, being active, and that leads to a big play. So it shows that he can do it. Okay, so there we are. What do we think of Braylon Allen? You know, he is a special player. He's going to be a special player for Badger fans. Uh, and I wish him nothing but the best at the next level. Um, he got kind of a bit of a raw deal this year. But he stuck it out. You know, he's got a lot of things that he, he has good about his game. His strength, his balance, his ability to, to cut and accelerate are rare for a player his size. But it also comes with the negatives of his size. Is sometimes he, you know, doesn't get low enough. Sometimes, you know, his, the fact that his big body attracts so much contact that it builds up and it leads him to be, dare I say, a bit injury prone. And he really needs to work on his pass blocking. But I think he will be a good fit for a team that needs him as a complement to your more lightning in the thunder and lightning type backfield setup. He's going to be good with a team that has two backs where they can have an all-purpose guy, have him be more of a short yardage and first and second down guy, and then they've got a scat back, third down back, option out of the backfield type guy. With the way the NFL is changing, um, he could have a nice career. Is he going to be a star in the NFL? I don't think running backs like him are stars anymore. I think they're functional pieces. Is he, could he have a long career in the National Football League? Absolutely. If he can show he can play special teams and he can show that he's improving in the areas that he needs to work on, he could absolutely have a nice career in the NFL. Um, he's going to carry, hopefully, be the next 
Wisconsin running back to make a name for himself in the NFL if he can find his niche. And if he does that, he's going to have a good career. If not, he's going to join many other great run Wisconsin running backs as big what-ifs at the next level. All right, so there's a quick look at Braylon Allen. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.